Freedom Daily New. This means war. Kim Jong-un makes desperation move as his country is about to be wiped out. It's no secret that Kim Jong-un is leaving North Korea to war with the United States. It seems with each passing day the threats get more specific and targeted. Unfortunately, none of the traditional diplomatic channels have worked to stem the flow of hatred and talks of war. The United States is in a very good strategic position, both with our allies and where our military is set up, but this only angers North Korea even more. Because the United States knows how to play nice and has both South Korea and Japan on board with the Don't Let NK Blow Us All Up plan, they've decided to branch out and see if they can pick off some of our other supporters. Not only have they been caught arming our enemies, they're trying to threaten some of our friends into backing down. This makes sense if you realize that they're very much on the ropes if this comes to all-out war. The country of North Korea isn't large enough to support a long and drawn-out war, even if their people would fight one. Because of that, they've decided to try to scare away Britain from helping us. This tiny dictatorship needs to stack the deck in their favor as much as possible, not only because of the impending conflict but because the country is in danger without any conflict. They're running desperately low on food. Their crops are decreased to the tune of being only about one-third what they were last year, and the people of North Korea were already starving. In a stark warning to Britain, Kim Jong-un used his government news agency to tell Theresa May not to follow the aggressive rhetoric of Donald Trump. The Korean Central News Agency reported, We solemnly warn not only the US and the puppet group but also satellites, including the UK and Australia, which are taking advantage of the present war maneuvers against the North. Wednesday, North Korean state media showed Kim standing next to the diagram of an intercontinental ballistic missile more powerful than any it has previously tested. The image of the three-stage rocket known as the Hwasong-13 suggested he is fiercely pursuing the creation of a weapon capable of striking anywhere on the U.S. mainland. It also follows a further escalation in the war of words between the country and U.S. President Donald Trump, in which Kim accused America of leading a beheading operation to oust the Korean leader. North Korea's military said in a statement that it would launch an unspecified merciless retaliation and unsparing punishment on the United States over the El Chai Freedom Guardian drills that began Monday for an 11-day run. Despite the threat, an unprompted direct attack is extremely unlikely because the United States vastly outguns Pyongyang, which values the continuation of its dictatorship above all else. Impoverished North Korea hates the annual drills in part because they force it to respond with expensive military measures of its own. The North Korean statement accused the United States of deploying unspecified lethal weapons for the drills that it says involve a beheading operation training aimed at removing absolute ruler Kim Jong-un. The country condemned the military drills the U.S. is conducting with the South and branded Trump weird and ego-driven, not long after Trump claimed Kim was starting to respect him. Kim also threatened to turn the U.S. into a heap of ashes in response to the El Chai Freedom Guardian drills currently being held in South Korea. In a special alert last month, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization the country's early season crop production was down to a third of the level it was last year. It added, more rains are urgently needed to avoid significant decreases in the main 2017 cereal production season. Should drought conditions persist, the food security situation is likely to further deteriorate. Meanwhile sanctions have been imposed on North Korea aimed at slashing its annual export revenue of pound 2.3 billion by a third. But these penalties are expected to hit ordinary Koreans, from coal mine workers to fishermen. Kim Jong-un has painted himself into a corner, and his people are likely to pay the price. This dictator has decided that he wants to go to war with the United States and their formidable allies, no matter the cost to his country. The people of North Korea are reported to be malnourished and willing to do anything to get away from Jong-un and his iron fist. They're making their escapes at every possible time, even taking knives with them in order to end their own lives should they be caught. This isn't the actions of a people who are ready to support their leader in his military movements. North Korea needs good trade relations, 
and all of their mental acuity working to fix their actual daily problems, not more enemies. We hope for the sake of the people of North Korea that this comes to a quick end. And we hope for the sake of everyone's future that the Jong-un family isn't in power when it's over, when it's over.